Hey, I'm Bridget, and we just wrapped up our series on using a Docker container as a custom development environment in Visual Studio Code. Throughout this series, we're able to do a lot of awesome things, like learning why you'd want to use a container as a custom development environment, install the remote containers extension and explore its commands, add some custom container configuration files and explore what they look like, um, further customize those files and our settings in VS Code, and even install some additional software and do things like port forwarding. But our learning doesn't have to stop here. We have some additional awesome resources that we'd really recommend checking out. So here we are on the final section of our learn module for remote containers on Microsoft Learn. So on our summary page here, it includes a wrap up of the content that we covered in addition to a learn more section, which links out to some really awesome additional content and resources. So it includes some links to our docs pages so including a getting started tutorial for guiding you through using remote containers, um, a creative development container doc, which is a little bit more in-depth documentation, and overall our guide to using containers in VS Code. And this can be found if you go to the VS Code doc site, and if you look on the left here, through all the different categories, you go to remote, and then you can see containers is the overall documentation. And then we have other links like the containers tutorial or creating a dev container, or even some more advanced or in-depth things like advanced containers and our dev container.json reference. Um, we've also found that dev containers can be a really interesting resource or solution in educational scenarios and classrooms. So we have some resources like a developing or using development containers in education blog post, which can be found on the VS Code blog. And we also have a video about using dev containers in education that is targeted at students, and that can be found on the VS Code YouTube channel. Finally, we'd also recommend checking out the VS Code remote release GitHub repo if you'd like to open up an issue, maybe file a feature request or a bug if you start interacting with the remote containers extension as well. Our team is really active there, and you could definitely get engaged with our engineering team there. You can also reach the VS Code team at the at code Twitter handle, and you can reach Burke and I directly at our Twitter handles as well. Thanks again so much for joining us in this video series, and as always, happy coding!